back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show on S3. And here we love to show, you know, really start the show off on the right note with our inspiring Gospel Monday performances. And our performer this morning hails from Belleville in the Mother City, and she's an up and coming gospel artist. Cherie Peterson has always had a love and talent for singing and performing. And this morning she's joining us to debut her brand new single called Shine for Gospel Monday. Welcome, Cherie. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I feel so honored. Yeah. It is really, I'm actually honored. I'm more honored than you are. Actually, you know. actually, I, I feel like you must pinch me because this doesn't feel real. Oh, really? Real. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just us, a couple of friends chatting about uh, everything. And I mean, we can't wait to, to hear you perform later. Um, you. Also hailing from Belleville, northern suburbs of Cape Town. Yeah. You know, just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's lovely. Uh, but I want to start off with your musical journey. You know, everybody's got a journey as well. Um, so yeah, I, our musical journey has never started, so nope. it's We're good to know where yours. <laughs> yeah, it's getting there, but where did yours start? Yeah, so um, I've always loved singing. Um, always sang with my dad karaoke, um, but it was never something that I ever did professionally. Never got that um, that vocal training, anything yeah. like that. Um, I think that it was when I joined the worship team at my church. That's when things got a bit more serious um, in the music. Uh, and about a year later, I started writing my first song. And from that time up until now, I haven't stopped writing and I'm definitely not putting the brakes on it Aww. anytime soon. Well, that you know what, there's a real special talent to, to the writing process. True. And of course, you've got the vocals to back that. I know, I, I think, you know, when all of these different lockdown levels get announced, myself and Wasty, we always say we feel for the restaurants and we feel for the music industry. We feel for the artists. Mm -hmm. How has this lockdown been for you? How have you remained positive? Have you been able to, you know, like find that comfort within your church gospel group or the worship team? Yeah, I think, um, look, I, when I'm writing songs, that's when I feel the most at ease. Yeah. And um, during the whole lockdown, that's when I wrote probably the most of my songs. And yes, like just um, meeting up with my worship team and you know, we, we need that. I needed that to just um, be motivated throughout this time, so yeah. Because we all have to like find our shine somewhere. Yeah, you know, yeah. because sometimes, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious, because it doesn't matter where it is, because I think that no matter what the circumstances, you have to find your shine. There's gonna be something that comes to you. If you have no time for the things that you're really passionate about, you know, the passion remains, but you have to have those moments. And yeah. the reason why I'm saying shine so often, because that's the name of the song, that we're going to hear a little later, yes, in case you haven't guessed by now. But yes. so I wanted to ask about the, the track, the inspiration, the backing behind it. What does it all mean? Yeah, so um, let me just firstly say that the song is completely different to any of my, of my other songs. Okay. Um, my previous songs are your slow worship songs. Yes. And this song, it's a more upbeat song. Okay. And, oh, nice. um, yeah, upbeat and very motivational. So um, the song is, um, it, it really speaks about going after your dreams, but being you while you are at it because you are good enough. Mm. You see, I, I always, like growing up, I was always never that confident person. I always found myself comparing the way I was to someone else, the way that I sang to someone else. Yeah. And um, I wrote the song so that, so that people out there would know that it's time for you to step out of that comfort zone. It's time for you to just be you because I feel that that in this world also one of our greatest accomplishments is being ourselves um, and not trying to conform to everything else that's going on around us. And I feel like a lot of people aren't confident enough to just be themselves. They'll, they, they might just surprise them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Cherie, you know what? We asked our viewers at home on our social media platforms to vote for a song that they would love for you to sing. Yes. Um, have you seen the songs that were up for, for, for voting? Yes. You have? Oh, Which I one do you think? That we're going to vote for. Okay, so as you can see on your screens right now, Cherie Peterson is obviously joining us this morning, and the song you have selected for Gospel Monday is "In the Waiting." How do you feel about that? Yeah, I I <laughs> was very surprised. Really? Honestly, um, I was thinking that because look, um, I wrote "In the Waiting" and I wrote "Milk and Honey," but "Like Oil" was going to be a cover of a song yeah. that's done by, by We Will Worship. And just thinking that, okay, maybe more people would, 
would know like oil, and yeah. they would probably choose like oil. Uh, so I was quite surprised. That's I quite was cool. Quite surprised, yeah. I think I know why, because you know we're all waiting for um, the family meeting, and we're mm. all in the waiting to find out what happened. <laughs> And that people waiting. started voting in the waiting, right in the waiting, in the waiting. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense, though. But we cannot wait to see you shine Thank on you. your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express here on S3. So, Cherie Peterson, you can take a bow already. She's going to be you know, shining up the stage for you a little bit later. So make sure you stay right there. Thank you so much.